We haven't really been too secretive about our feelings regarding Parmigiani Fleurier at Time and Tide, with numerous of their watches making all sorts of best stuff lists, alongside the usual waxing lyrical in our coverage. And it's for good reason. The Tunda PF collection brought a breath of fresh air to a struggling brand in a majorly successful way, with a respectful take on the brand's recognizable features while also acknowledging a need for change. For 2024, Parmigiani Fleurier is taking the next big step in its evolution, branching out with a revived Toric collection, the first departure from the Tonda PF since Guido Terreni stepped up as CEO. The watch in question is the Parmigiani Fleurier Toric Chronograph Attrapante, because if there was ever an excuse to release an old gold, and I mean that, split seconds chronograph, it would be to mark the return of the collection that started it all. A notable stylistic choice of Parmigiani Fleurier's rebrand is the general minimalism that permeates their design. That's not to say that Michel Parmigiani's pieces were ever gaudy or overbearing, but they certainly were no stare. The clearest example of this new direction is the Torex dial, with a uniform umber surface only interrupted by razor-thin beveled edges separating the subdials and chapter ring. As this is a Parmigiani Fleurier we're talking about, the process of achieving this finish is no simple feat. Using a mixture of potassium bitartrate, sea salt and silver, the solid gold dial blank is grained by hand using a soft brush. The alpha hands are a new addition to the Toric and are made of gold-plated steel, while the secondary chronograph hand is rhodium-plated for legibility. As has been the direction with the Tonda, the new Toric chronograph Rattrapont sports teeny tiny indices beveled to continue the flow between the main dial portion and angle chapter ring. Dial text is thankfully and expectedly non-existent, with the only indication of branding in the form of Parmigiani Fleurier's new cartouche logo at 12 o'clock. As the Toric isn't an all-new collection, and more importantly was the watch that launched Michel Parmigiani's eponymous brand, it had to carry over some signature features from its original shape. The most obvious one is the neural bezel and oval pushes for a dressier look, and that's exactly the positioning Tereni is intending with the new Toric offering it only in precious metal cases, and without trace of any jagged or angular surfaces of any kind. As far as the Toric Chronograph Hattrapont goes, it's cased in 42.5mm of 18 karat rose gold, with a thickness of 14.4mm. Those dimensions may sound far from elegant on paper, and you'd be right to be cautious. Experiencing the watch in person, however, it's clear that the Parmigiani design team paid plenty of attention to hiding that thickness away, achieving surprisingly impressive results. Many of Parmigiani Fleurier's new models seem to have adopted the business in the front, party in the back adage, and the Torek Rattrapon is no different. The Sapphire Caseback reveals the in-house manually wound caliber PF361, released in 2016 to celebrate the brand's 20th anniversary. Remember how I said it's an old gold watch? Well, that's because the movement is also crafted in rose gold, with the skeletonized bridges leaving ample room for hand beveling and polishing, with some decadent internal angles on display. Contrasting the polished chamfers is a richly brushed surface. At first glance, the movement doesn't seem to have that much depth thanks to the bridges, but that left Parmigiani Fleurier with many more surfaces which to bevel and decorate. Works for me. As far as the specs go, they're just as impressive. The Rattrapon operation is taken care of by dual column wheels and a vertical clutch, meaning it'll engage smoothly, beating at a high 5 Hz while still delivering 65 hours of power reserve. While the new Chronograph Rattrapon serves as a herald to the reinvigorated Toric collection, it certainly won't be a volume seller, if for no other reason but its 30-piece limited run. At the same time, had Parmigiani just presented the time-only Toric, as beautiful as it is, I don't think it would have had as much impact as this minimalist wonder. The small wristed vintage lover in me does wish the case was a tad smaller and thinner, but I can't deny that this was the Parmigiani I spent most of my time with at Watches and Wonders, looking at all the intricate details of the movement through a loop. The PF361 is without doubt impressive, both from a visual and technological standpoint, but it is getting on a little. I'd love to think of the Tora Chronograph at Repont as a swan song of the PF361, ushering in a new era for the Parmigiani Fleurier Toric and paying tribute to the decorated caliber. What do you think of Parmigiani's new Toric collection? 
Is it the right step after the success of the Tonda PF? Let us know in the comments below. The Parmigiano Fleury Toric Chronographe Rattrapant is going to be available in September 2024 as a limited edition of 30 pieces, priced at 135,000 Swiss francs. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.